So hello students, we are back with our next video and in this video we will be learning about the pro rata ratio and here I will uh, tell you about more pro rata ratio because we need to know what is that pro rata ratio. Pro rata ratio means apportionment of the shares to the shareholders on a proper ratio. On a proper ratio means suppose you are allocating to the shareholders on a proportional basis. Okay, suppose I might apply for 5000 shares. He, uh, another shareholders might apply for 10,000 shares uh, some next shareholders might apply for 15,000 or less etc etc uh, 20,000 30,000 like that so what is that what is the minimum the uh, board members will decide what is the minimum criteria to get the shareholder tag of that company so that is will be decided on the basis of pro rata allotment okay and how they decided by pro rata ratio Suppose if someone is applying minimum 3000 shares, he will be given 2000 shares. So what is that ratio? He has applied 3000, he is getting 2000. So what is the ratio? That is 2 is to 3, we will know. So please watch full video to know more about this. Okay. So let's start. Here you see how to find out this pro, pro rata ratio. In this pro rata ratio, what is the formula in that easy method? Seat capacity. You will find that in the questions they write it. They Company AB Limited, XY Limited issued applications for 24,000 shares, 20,000, 12,000 shares they issued. So that is the seat capacity. Please do remember that is the seat capacity. Next turns come applications were received for 30,000 shares, 20,000 shares, 40,000 shares. So that is the question comes that now which part we will take into account. Our formula says seat capacity is to application accepted. Application accepted. I have not told here or I have not written over here that received I have written application accepted so please remember we will talk about application accepted to in finding out the pro rata ratio seat capacity is to application accepted suppose the seat capacity was 12,000 shares applications were received for 20,000 years uh, shares and we have accepted 18,000 shares so what is that ratio let's find it out so 12,000 is to 18,000 not 20,000 why because it's accepted because it's accepted not received one so let's find out this ratio can you find it out 6 into 2 is 12 and 6 into 3 is 18 so what's our ratio 2 is to 3 as I told you so this is the if someone applies for 3 shares he will get 2 shares if someone applies for 3 shares, you will get 2 shares. So that is about pro rata ratio. You need to find it out. Because pro rata allotment is very very important in the chapter share capital. Next, for shareholders. Suppose for individual shareholder, how to find out? That same by applying this one. So easy technique. Allotted is to apply. Allotted is to apply. So what is that? Allotted is to apply. Suppose I have applied for 3000 shares. So how many shares I'll be getting? I don't know. I have applied for 3000 shares. So this is question mark. I don't know how much I'll be allotted. So let's apply now this uh, formula. Okay. So let's apply the formula. So here you see allotted is to apply. We have the formula allotted is to apply for the shareholder to find it out. And we have pro rata ratio 2 is to 3. So I said how much I have applied 3000. I don't know how much I will be allotted. So let's find it out. Easy technique. Cross multiplication. Cross multiplication. So find it out this option. How much I have allotted. How much I have been allotted. So let's find it out. 3000 into how much? Into 2 by 3. So how much I have been allotted? Shortcut 2000. Clear now? So that's all our video. So please do subscribe my channel and please don't forget to like and share. Thank you.